My name is Matthew Franco from Anaheim High School Independent Learning Center. Today I stand before you bringing the attention of the epidemic national crisis of the effects of fentanyl. On July 29th, 2023, just days after I was released from juvenile hall, I was home having a wonderful time with my father and my siblings. While my little brother was knocking on the restroom door, nobody was answering. Unknowingly, my father was in there unresponsive due to a fentanyl overdose. One moment, I was with my father, having a wonderful time. The next moment, I had my father in my arms, desperately trying to save him with Narcan. Said he's coming home, 12 years old, acting like a youngin'. I was never home. 15 minutes to collect, cause we had to say the most. Yeah, we had to say the most. My pops stuck in prison while I'm stuck up in the streets. With no parent figure in my life, I started clutching heat. Sipping with all the homies, trying to figure out who I would be. Trying to figure out who I would be. I was only 17 when my dad had a go. Then kill me inside, man. It made me cold Just thinking about the things you ain't gon' see when I get old Got me acting out in anger, I don't think I have a soul Till it makes you don't feel right, I ain't gon' see your face again All those nights running mugs, I should've been with you instead I ain't gon' see your face again All those nights running mugs, I should've been with you instead Just listen, this a letter to you pops Reminiscing all the time, I know I changed a lot I do it for your name, cause you really meant a lot And don't apologize, cause that could've been my spot Like damn, why you gotta do that? I fully understand, but I just don't wanna vent. I found you in that room with my little brother tripping. Man, what does? Now we acting all different. Fuck, man. With my head, thinking about you every day. Got me wishing I was dead. I love you, Pops. Just don't ever forget that. And even if I seem mad, I didn't mean that. I was a misunderstood child growing up. They said I wouldn't be sick. So why should I give a f? You were the only one that believed in all of us. But like I said, Pops, you're still getting all my love. Just listen. This a letter to you, Pops. Reminiscing all the time. I know I changed a lot. I do it for your name, cause you really meant a lot. And don't apologize, cause that could have been my spotlight. <laughs> Like, 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 long live all those who got their life taken away by drug abuse. And to the family and loved ones, keep your head up. According to the CDC, between the years 2016 to 2021, fentanyl deaths increased by 200, 279%. According to the CDC as well, between the years 2019 to 2021, fentanyl deaths increased by 182% between the ages 10 to 19 years old. The youth need early access and education on how to deal with the fentanyl overdose for their own safety and others so they can save a life. Some of our national policies have made the Southwest border the worst it's ever been, allowing drug trafficking organizations to distribute fentanyl by kilograms. Just one kilogram has enough power to kill 500,000 people, according to the DEA. I would also recommend a moratorium against painkillers that consist of opioids because that contributes to a future drug addiction, which is exactly what happened to my father. My name is Matthew Franco and I won't stay quiet. Thank you.